Now, we just know the Dead Sea is the Dead Sea. Nothing lives here. It's full of salt. But things are happening here. Nonstop things happening. After three years, I could tell you there's so much life coming out from the Dead Sea. These are actually sinkholes, what we're seeing over here. Okay. So on one hand, it's a devastating aspect of the, of the land violently causing huge holes. On the other hand, again, this is the contrast of it, all the life coming out from these sinkholes. It's a little oasis here. We just heard birds. You have bird migration right over yeah, here. Look, all this vegetation. Yeah, there, there's lush vegetation here. Uh, there's birds. We hear them chirping in the background. There's mi massive migration coming through here, Noam. Uh, and there has been sightings, including by yourself, of fish. Yeah, correct. In this single specifically, actually, we saw some small fish. The fact you have vegetation just shows that salinity went down here, and you can actually have living creatures over here. And you think of the book of Ezekiel, chapter 47, Nome, it talks about the salt sea becoming fresh, a fisherman working at the Dead Sea. This is the life emerging out of the water, literally, as we speak. Fresh water springs coming from the Hebron and Jerusalem mountains yeah. underneath the ground, underneath the Dead Sea, creating these sleeve of the salts. The fresh water actually goes inside. You get a chance to see this up close. This is amazing. What do you think of all this? Special. This is, this is exactly it. Experiencing prophecy coming true, being part of it, being involved with it is something uh, so spiritually uh, uplifting. I think of the book of Zechariah that says, Waters will flow from Jerusalem to the Eastern Sea. This is to the east of Jerusalem, the Dead Sea. 